Good morning. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. I'm Rebecca Bartlemay and joining me is Karen Rhodes. She is on the uh, fundraising committee for UPA. So thank you for coming in. Thank you so much. Yeah. And so last hour we started talking about your upcoming fundraiser. Mm -hmm. And if people missed that last hour, can you just give us a little summary about what that is? It's coming up on Friday, July 17th. Uh, it's a shotgun start at 10 o'clock in the morning uh, at the Marquette uh, Country Golf Club. Uh, we've got 25 teams signed up so far. We might have room for one or two more if you're an avid golfer or if you just want to support UPAS. Uh, we've had a lot of people that come back year to year, uh, a lot of businesses that support us every year, and we were kind of uncertain because of all the craziness going on whether we would even have our golf outing. And every person that I talk to that's come back year after year says, we want to help UPAS, we want to be there uh, for UPAS. So they're they're coming and, and they're excited to help us. All right, awesome. So it's on and people are coming. And so let's talk about um, the importance of funds for UPAS. How greatly does UPAS support on um, funds basically. Um, our funds come from a variety of places. The fundraisers isn't the main source. The main source is uh, uh, donations and grants and you know other other types of support. But fundraisers are, are an important part not only for raising money for the shelter but getting people engaged and, and to know about UPAS because we are totally supported by uh, donations and fundraisers. So we need to keep reminding people out there that um, that we're there 365 days a year to care for pets and we have a beautiful new building if you haven't been out to see it uh, you should call and see when you can get in and see it because it's just it's amazing what we've managed to accomplish we've been in the building about a year and a half now and uh, it's just so much more beautiful for the animals and, and the cats and the dogs and the birds and the hedgehogs and the snakes and all the little fish I mean it's amazing the types of animals they get in and, uh, and our staff is wonderful and our board of directors is also all volunteers so there's a lot of volunteer hours being put in to help you pause every year. Yeah. But we need the help of the community too. Exactly, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. And so there is um, possibly another event coming up in the future for you guys to raise money, correct? We hope so. We have our annual Strut Your Mutt, which is a dog walk, which is held uh, in early September. We don't know if we can hold that. We hope so being outside. Our next event after that is Cause for Paws, which is usually held at the Holiday Inn. That's an indoor event, so it depends on what's going out that time. So we're hoping to make all of our uh, fundraisers as successful as they can be because we don't know what tomorrow will bring. You can find out more information on this event on our website, upmatters.com, and tune into Local 3 News tonight at 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock Central for more local news, weather, and sports.